Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante. Let's test Sculptress. So here we are. This is Sculptress. This is a small program made by Pixelogic, the company that develops ZBrush. You might remember I used ZBrush in a couple of first episodes of Let's Paint, where I sculpted the shape. So this is the same thing, but this program is free, simple, and buggy as fuck, as I assume. It's uh, Alpha 6. I don't even know if there's like an update after Alpha 6, maybe there's Alpha 7 or something. But I assume they did not really develop it further. The point of this program is basically to let anybody try out 3D sculpting without getting into a very complex world of ZBrush. So basically, this is the thing that you can download right now and try it out yourself. And this is how. Now, to test this, we're gonna have a little bit of a research in anime field. Hear me out. I'm having a huge problem figuring out the shape of anime faces. It's really hard to understand the connection between the lines and the shapes because anime shapes are actually supposed to be three-dimensional. So, we're gonna build an anime cute face out of this sphere. Let's start! So, the program starts with this sphere. Uh, as far as I remember, I never really tried it much lately. There's supposed to be symmetry somewhere. Symmetry... Maybe we press X. Aha, uh -huh. no, that's invert. That's not it. Okay, F1. What about the symmetry help? Nope! Oh, it's symmetrical anyway. I was expecting to have like a, the second circle to appear, the way this orange one. That's how it works in ZBrush. Well, okay. So, as you can see, it creates a more dense geometry where we want to create a new detail, which is really awesome. That's something that ZBrush doesn't do like that simply right away, which is awesome. So now, let's start sculpting. There's a bunch of tools in here. Let's see, they're probably the kind of tools you can find in ZBrush, but less. In plate, we need move, that's for sure. Rotate, crease, scale, maybe there's no move. The thing might crash, by the way, keep that in mind. So anyway, let's start developing the shape of the head. It's really cool that we can start with the sphere right away. There is a way to start with a sphere and with a plane. Aha, there is masking if I control and click. Masking is cool for doing this kind of stuff. You're kind of like, you know, masking. <laughs> Wherever it's dark, you can't do anything. That's the point of masking. Well, this is not really looking like an anime girl so far. Let's keep searching. So if I shift click, I blur out all the details. That's a very helpful way to go all the time. You add details, you blur out something that you didn't want to add, stuff like that. And Alt is inverting. And that's how we work in here, because the move tool, I don't see one here. Which would be really... Oh wait, the grab, it's probably it, right? Yeah! This is like super necessary one, although it's more like a snake tool. And it works really cool due to the ability of sculptors to generate new polygons right away. That's kind of cool. Okay, still not an anime girl. <laughs> Let's try. We're really gonna use this brush a lot, I think. Okay, anime, we're going. <laughs> so let's look up a reference or something. Anime head. Here's a magic picture. Thank you. Let's try to get this kind of shape. Alright. It's a good thing it has a lot of free space for references. Okay, so something more round apparently. Okay, getting closer. Not really. It's weird how this program is not like super popular just between mortal people because it's really fun and it's free and it works. And I think like what can be more fun than just sculpting all the time? Well, maybe there are a couple things, but those things would be better if you would sculpt at the same time. So the chin goes up. We'll think about the neck a bit later. Or no, let's do that right away. Wait, what's the thing about... Like, when I'm sculpting on this stage, it's not adding new triangles. Oh, it's screen dependent. I never knew that. 
If we would go even closer, there's probably a D. Whoa! Holy shit, it, it can go all the way more and more detailed. It's just as much detail as you see. How cool is that? ZBrush has nothing like that. Cool! Why won't they add this into ZBrush? What happened? Anyway, this is some kind of alien so far, but that's how I always go about anime. It's a ninja turtle right now. <laughs> so there was a horrible accident, I suppose. It's a tragic anime. I gotta say, it's kind of hard to work when I have no comfortable hotkeys for changing the size of the brush. I should set up some, if it's possible, to do here. Probably not. Nope! Oh yeah, we can of course turn off the grid, so everything will look even more horrible. Let's go this way, I feel it's kind of nicer. So we can change the material. Is there a skin material? We kind of could use one. A bunch of cool stuff, but nothing looks much like skin. This is cool. Oh yeah. Wow, some of them are really realistic. Really realistic. Let's go with this one. Okay, we have to make the head not as long. <laughs> oh my god. I am so bad at anime, like... Wow, like aggressively bad. Look at this face. Rude to laugh. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay, let's follow the shape. So it's a lot more simple than ZBrush. You can't really add any extra shapes. It's just one piece of clay that you can work with. And I'm pretty sure for most people this is exactly what you want to see. To just try things out and have fun. So the neck is like twice as thicker than it's supposed to be. <laughs> Let's take care of this. What is this? Oh. Oh. I don't know what this is for, but it looks fancy. I guess just to not lose the ground when you have just a sphere in front of you, you kind of might get disoriented. In ZBrush there's like uh, just a grid plane like the floor for this kind of purpose. Okay, let's keep working on this burn victim. Oh god, it's even worse in 3D for me. <laughs> anyway, let's let's mark in the eyeballs. Nope. <laughs> yep. This is a gas mask. Oh my god, it's looking at me like at all directions it's looking at me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saving, but it's not like I achieved anything. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry for creating you. Oh god. Why does this happen? What is this? How do you know that you're supposed to be a demon? It's just turning slowly. So the eyes are supposed to be way wider. Which would turn you again into something horrible. I had a little bit of a normal person there for a moment. But now... Made a smaller field of view to have less distortion. We're kinda like from the big distance with a big zoom right now. Okay, this is supposed to be like this. And I think it's not even horrible. Huh. I actually feel that we might have too big of a resolution of the surface. There's a button called reduce. Okay, reduce selected. Wire. Reduce selected. Oh, one more time. Cool! It works! And doesn't crash, too. 
uh, now, this is the feature that's adding more polygons where you make a stroke. So if we turn it off, it won't happen anymore. Whoa, what is this? This is cool. I don't know what for, but this is awesome. It's alive. How did I do that? I turned something on accidentally. <laughs> Oh, there we go. This works a lot more like a normal move tool. Cool. But then it creates some kind of like normalization or like spreading the polygons all over the place. Where is that button? It looks awesome, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to work with this. I don't think we're actually gonna see it. Yeah, it's just taking care of the polygons. Hmm, let's keep it. I don't know how I turned it on, but let's keep it. With a smaller density of polygons, the smooth tool, when I shift click, it works a lot better. It's the same way it goes in ZBrush too. Crease brush. What is that? Aha, uh -huh, it's kind of like Damien standard one. I actually have no idea what kind of shape should I go for in anime nose. Like from the side, it's pretty much well shown. But this, like, what is this? There's someone fell on the canvas, accidentally made a scribble. I don't know what that is. Huh, apparently this program has undo, but doesn't have redo. Hmm, adventurous. Okay, I don't know how to start eyes. Let's start mouth, I guess, and turn details on. <laughs> uh, okay, the bottom part should be even smaller. What the hell? How small is that? Anyway, let's go with this scale for the mouth. Now, somewhere around here. Holy shit, it dance. <laughs> Fucking clown. I think so too. Anymore. I think so too. Well, something like that. I don't think we're able to get any closer today to the better mouth. Let's try to mark in the eyes again. So, it's really hard, like, it's not supposed to be three dimensional, like the eyes for sure. But I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think they are. What the hell is that? What are those? They should make this program like a website where people could do this and then share. It would be awesome. Or so that like a bunch of people could work on one shape at the same time. And you can like build pyramids and have like slaves and such. Oh wait, there's already Minecraft for that. Demolish the nose. This is the most like horrible part about working in 3D. You're just working at one angle, you work, you work, everything's awesome, then you rotate a camera and everything's just insane. You just didn't know that. And you go, oh, so I'm not sleeping tonight. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty much happy with that. I expected a lot worse considering the amount of tools we have here. Let's add some sort of ears and call it done for today. Ears go like here somewhere. <laughs> this is kind of a cool silhouette from the back. Well, there you go. Some sort of a animal character. A bold one. Looks like some kind of monk or something. Let's make some irises or nipples. I mean, nipples, nipples everywhere. Jesus Christ. Why did I decide to do that? You know how they make this effect in actual sculptures? They're actually paint, like sculpting out the effect of uh, reflection on the eye. At least I assume that's what it is. 
So, from a very far distance, it kind of looks okay. <laughs> So yeah, this, this is, we're calling this done, for now. I think next time we'll add hair or something, maybe play with materials, you can actually update, I don't know what that is, we'll figure it out. Also brushes, I don't know, we can use our own alphas I guess. Not sure if it's like up to the level of actually thinking about alphas here. But anyway, this was 3D Animu piece of clay burn victim and testing Sculptress. Check out the program yourself if you want. It's really simple and fun if you're a nerd. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description, you can check it out. And I thank you for watching if you did, I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend. Burn, burn them all. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Please stop looking at me, I'm sorry, okay? Burn, burn them all! <laughs>